guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be quickly talking about how I chose my upline and how you should choose your upline if you're thinking about being a distributor of sheer sense slash synergence um, yourself. So I recently launched a blog all about this company and my journey through it and product tips, tricks and lots of other information. So if you want to see that, be sure to click the link below. And I actually wrote a post related to this video a few, a couple of weeks ago, I think, um, where I shared my personal journey on how I was introduced to the company and um, my experience in finding my own distributor and choosing which one I signed up under. So if you want to read that, make sure you read that probably first because I'm not going to really talk about my personal experience too much in this because I have written that post and also because I don't want to say anything to offend anybody because I don't hold anything against any of the people that I didn't pick but I feel like I chose the right decision for me personally. So if you're thinking about being a distributor there are a few things that you should definitely make sure you're considering before you sign up under someone. Number one is to make sure that you're not signing up under someone just because they're your friend. If they're your friend and you get on and they have all the other qualities that are, that are really needed for an upline, great, sign up under them. But if you're signing up under them and not fully believing in them as an upline or a sponsor, then the reason shouldn't be persuaded for by them being your friend. This at the end of the day is your investment, it's your possible career. And it's something that you should really think about before you make a decision because you can't change that decision. The second point is that you shouldn't make, you should make sure your upline wants to help you. Your upline's job isn't to make this process, um, it's not to do this process for you, it's not to make your business, it's not to sell your product, it's not to do everything for you, but it's to guide you through. They've, they should have done it, they should have that slightly old, their business is slightly older than you and they should have experience of what's worked and what's been successful for them. A lot of people think, oh, once they're signed up, I don't need to do anything with them. I've, I'm getting that money when they make sales, so I don't need to um, look after them all. But really, the upline should want to help you because if they help you, you become more successful then you buy more product, then they get more commission and you in turn help them out by getting more money. <laughs> but a lot of people don't see it that way and a lot of people sign people up to literally increase their rank. So if you don't know how it works, I won't explain fully, I have a whole series on my blog about ranks and whatnot. But um, for e each rank requires a different number of distributors to sign under the upline and to qualify for those you need a certain number and a certain volume of sales for each month. Hence why some people are just doing it for the ranks. Um, so what are you looking for in an upline? You want someone who's helpful, you want someone who can, you can get on with, and you want someone that isn't too busy. Now, this may sound horrible, but if someone is very successful in their own business and isn't great at time management, they probably don't have time for you. Now, I first heard of LipSense through a YouTuber, well, a couple of YouTubers, but one of the main YouTubers I used to love, and I don't have anything against her, but she stopped uploading to her personal channel. She had a baby and she stopped uploading. I'm glad she's taking time for herself, so don't get me wrong, but if she doesn't have time to upload for her channel, which is her main job, um, why does that make, that doesn't make me have much confidence in her having time for me. And I knew before signing up that I wanted to ask a lot of questions and I knew I'd probably keep asking lots of questions. Um, the last point I want to say, because I, do I don't want this video to be super long, I want to keep it fairly short. But the last thing I want to say is that um, pick someone who's open and honest. Now, when I first got contacted by my upline um, after expressing interest and she emailed me, she emailed me quickly, which was great. Um, she emailed me openly. She very clearly explained all the ins and outs of what I needed to know, but she also added a lot of the negatives that are associated with this company. Not that it's a bad thing, but she was open about it, whereas others I think would hide it. 
and she said very clearly, hey, this is the situation at the moment, it's going to get better, but at the moment, this is the situation. I was like, oh yeah, that doesn't sound great, but she said it, she's explained it, and if I did have any problems, she's there to help me. So yes, to summarise, you want someone who's not just your friend, but will make a good upline, who's focused and um, consistent, who will be helpful, and who is also open and honest. I hope you found this video helpful and useful in making your decision to be who, as to who should be your upline. Um, again, if you want more detail about this, I'll leave the link to the blog post below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you next time. Bye. Yeah, that doesn't...